Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here I've got a picture of a it's looking up a tower into the sky. If I turn that off underneath I've got waterfalls, which is a different picture. And uh, if I wanted to have those waterfalls appear in the picture here, one thing I could do is use a, an erase brush and just paint around there like that, which is kind of okay, but the the problem is, if I want to go backwards now, I have to use undo. So it'd be nice to be able to mask that. But if you use a mask, let's go Z, there we go. If you want to use a mask, however, then you kind of got another layer and you're painting in black and white and so on. There's, there's a slightly quicker way of doing this sort of thing. Uh, it's a bit counterintuitive, so let's have a look. If I put a pixel layer above there, so yeah, I was clicking on here first, then nothing much is happening. Which what happens if I go right click on this and say mask to below. Now all of a sudden the picture below is appearing. The pixel layer that I moved, it's a transparent layer because it just turned up first without putting anything in it. Uh, and it's appeared in the masking position on this background layer here. But because it's transparent, it acts like the black in a mask. I turn it off, you can see the layer above, there it is. So if I paint on this, it's going to act like the white in the mask. So here I can have any colour I like in my brush. I pick, pick a paintbrush, then here we go, I can paint on this and this lets through the light above. So where's transparent is black, where there is paint there's white. So it doesn't matter what colour it is, I can switch colours and paint in red. And it's the same effect. So if I alt click on the pixel layer just so you can see what's in it, there it is, it's mixed colours and transparency. The colour's what you get and transparency is what you're not. But it's this reversed effect. So what I might want to do, I'll just delete get rid of the moment, is I do it the other way around. I'll put the if you like the background layer on top. On the top layer of the bottom and then selecting the back background layer I paint in a add a pixel layer I could right click and go down the master below but I can also just show you how you do it you can drag it down so you get a vertical bar there and now what I've got I get because it's effectively transparent I'm only seeing the layer below now I can use a brush of any size to paint in to see what's below if I increase the size of that, I can click on that and I can see a little bit through that. Let's do another click again, take the brush out of the way. So if I want to make this uh, you know, something a bit wrong, I want to change that, I can now use the erase brush. You know, see the erase brush, I could take that back. I don't have to use any undoing. Or if I want to re-establish things and have a nice big one, there we go, and do it again. So I can put on, take away, with painting on any colour on the erase brush. But it's got this kind of upside down effect, but it's useful to do sometimes. So there we go. That's using the a pixel layer as a mask where transparency is black and any colour you like is white when you're translating from pixel layer to mask. Okay, and hope you like that, and thank you very much for watching.